Welcome to the Family First Retirement Podcast with George Politaris. For more information on the Petraea Wealth Group or to schedule your complimentary consultation, visit PetraeaWealth.com. Now, let's get to the show. Hindsight, you start thinking about, boy, what was life like even before my grandkid got here? But hindsight is a powerful tool. Now, this is a comedy bit from Conan O'Brien from a couple of years ago where he had a commercial for a fake company called Hindsight Financial. What if you had purchased Apple stock before the launch of the iPhone? What if you had bought Amazon before it was the only place people shopped? At Hindsight Financial, you don't have to wonder how rich you could have been because we'll show you. Our advisors will walk you through every single opportunity you miss. Let us show you how many years earlier you could have retired. Oh, the life you would have had. Hindsight Financial. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. So let's actually, let's build upon that right there. When you talk to the families that you serve and retirees, pre-retirees, what do you hear the most about hindsight? You know, they all, it's so easy to be the Monday morning quarterback. Sit there and say, you know, he should have done this, and I, I should have bought that stock, and I should have taken some more risk in life. But the the matter of fact of it is that you didn't. And there's nothing we can do about what's been behind us in the past. So we have to lick our wounds, mm-hmm. get into reality, and let's think how we can get in a better place tomorrow. And that's what we sit down and talk about. You know, Mark, I look, and I went back to when I'm a young man, and I was I had a very good high school career in football. I chose to go to Hofstra University in Long Island to play football at Hofstra and get a degree in accounting. I had an opportunity to go to a bigger school and not get a scholarship, and things could have been different. Maybe they would have been different. Maybe I wouldn't have met my wife, and my path in life wouldn't have been the same. But it is what it is. I'm glad I took the course I did. Trust me, I have a great wife, great career, great family. But there's nothing we can do about the past. So when we look at this, when people say, I should put more money in my 401k. I should have started earlier in my 401k. I should have planned better for my children's college. It's okay, because now we still have the luxury of time. Let's work with what we have available to us, and let's take the course of action to correct any missteps in the past. And when we sit down with you and we go over that, uh, we're going to make it a better future for you. But, you know, you you have to be responsible for our actions. You have to be willing to take the step forward, accept our mistakes, and get ready to go in the right direction. Give us a call, 302-330-2166, and let's take the first steps into correcting any of those shoulda, coulda, woulda moments and making them look where I'm at, how great I am, and how beautiful our future is going to be. One thing that you have heard from clients is they all say, man, I wish I would have called you earlier. Yes. And once again, it goes back there. You didn't do it. We have, you know, we are so famous, I think, people, most of us, for being the ostrich at the zoo where you bury your head in the sand because things are really bad and think that if I just ignore where I'm at, I'll be okay. It'll go away. The boogeyman will leave. He doesn't leave. He gets bigger. So, okay, you didn't call me. You sat there on your hands and said, you know, we'll do it next weekend. We'll do it next day. And the next day never comes. When's it going to be your responsibility to take the step forward to be prepared for the future, Mark? It starts today. Well, you wake up in the next day and you're 60 years old. And you don't exactly have right. A blink yet. of an We talk, just talked about Archer. Let's talk about Alex and Jared. I can still tell you the moment they were born. Literally, it was a month ago Alex was born, my oldest. He's 29 years old now. The moment he came home, I, I went to work and I, I had a different career. And I always say how I, I, I resent what I did. I was a bad father, a bad husband because I was working so much. And I come home after working for a day, and he's starting kindergarten. And I blinked an eye because I'm going to take care of it tomorrow. We're going to go buy your your new bike tomorrow, and he's starting high school. And then he's in college. Now he's married. It goes by so damn fast Yeah, having that mentality. You got to stop. We have to smell the roses, per se, focus on it today, and do the right thing now. Stop thinking that we have all this extra time because you know what, folks, unfortunately, time is our biggest enemy at this stage in our lives. Let's act, let's prepare, and let's get set up, and let's know what our situation is. Don't be like my parents, please. And I say this from the bottom of my heart, 
don't put your family through what my brother and sisters and I had to go through with my mom and dad helping them out in retirement. And I, I don't resent it. Well, that's probably a lie, Mark. I probably do resent it a little bit mm. because Leslie, Alex, and Jared couldn't have everything they wanted. I made sure they had everything they needed, but I couldn't give them everything they wanted because we were supporting our parents, well, along with my brothers and sisters. So if you don't want to do it for yourself, how about being a person and worry about your wife, your husband, your children, your grandchildren? Let's get something in place today to protect them. If you don't care enough about yourself, but you have to sit there and you need to take the first step. You're leading this dance. So you need to take the first step. Go to Petraea Wealth, P-A-T-R-I-A, wealth.com. Schedule the no cost, no obligation appointment to come into the office, sit down with me, meet my team, and let's start the process. Or pick up the phone, 302-330-2166, and let's take the first step in protecting our families. Because the shoulda, coulda, woulda that you've been thinking about, I should have started my 401k earlier. I should have had more retirement savings. I should have paid off my mortgage earlier. I should have controlled my expenses. How about instead of shoulda, let's start the year and start the time now saying, look what I have done. Yeah. How great is that? You know, we always talk about, Mark, how we look in the mirror. And when you see yourself, most of us don't see the good in us. They don't see how great we are when we look at ourselves. I know I am personally, I look there, if I make a mistake, I haunt myself on it, I beat myself over the head, and I never forget about that mistake. And then I speak to Leslie, or I speak to my customers, my family members, uh, if I talk to Brandon, if I'm with Brian or Sue, and they say, my God, look what you've done for us. That is the, the priceless part of my business and how I love what I do. I just gave a presentation, and, you know, I don't work. Mark, I don't know. You and I sit and talk, and this is not work. When I'm meeting with customers, it's not work. It's passion. It's enjoyment because I get to put somebody in a better place so their family and they themselves do not have to go through what my family went through. And my wife will never deal with because she'll never have to worry about what I should have done, what he could have done, what we should have prepared for. And that's what it's all about. It's, but it takes a first step. And it takes that step from you to pick up the phone and give us a call, 302-330-2166, to get your financial plan set up to protect yourself, your family, your children. And that initial consultation with George and the team at the Petraeo Wealth Group, it's no cost, it's no obligation. It's a complimentary portfolio x-ray where George and the team are going to sit down, take a deep dive into your plan. Let's see what adjustments need to be made, if any, 302-330-2166. And there's nothing wrong with getting that second opinion as well. PetraeaWealth.com. Unretiring is something that happened. And a lot of people did this because of COVID. Millions of adults just left the workforce altogether. There was a new T. Rowe Price study that found that 20% of retirees are back to work, but working part-time. I want you to hear this clip from Carrie Hannon of Yahoo Finance. There are some wonderful reasons to continue to work in some fashion, even if you have saved appropriately, because you can maybe add to retirement accounts. You can stave off dipping into those retirement accounts so they can keep growing. And you can delay your Social Security benefit, possibly from full retirement age, say 66, 67, until age 70, and you get a 8% increase each year in your benefit that it's permanent between those years full retirement age and 70 this can be significant unretiring i mean is it a real thing where people just go back to part-time work and do you find that your clients are more happy with it you know that's a it is a big thing it is a true thing what you're saying and a lot of that times it depends on their situation i always think mark there's difference between having to do something and wanting to do something Unfortunately, we said about shoulda, coulda, woulda, yep. and some people get to the point they retire, and they and we made mistakes. We didn't plan right. We started too late, but we can no longer do this job, nor do we want to do the job we're currently in. So they retire, and they have to go do something else. And whatever that something else might be, it might be another career. It might be 40 hours or 30 hours a week or just something. And then a lot of our customers, because we have taken those steps to get them in the right place, they have listened, taken advice, prepared, planned. 
and now they're retiring at 60, 58, 60, 65, and they don't want to sit home. They want to be out, and they want to do something else. It's a different feeling. You're going outside and enjoying something, and maybe it's the passion you've always had. I always tell Leslie, whenever I stop working, and I, I don't work now, but whenever I stop doing this every day, what am I going to do? I don't have a lot of hobbies. I love to read. I love gardening. I love being with my family and the dogs and being with my, you know, the, the neighborhood. Other than that, I'm not a golfer. Cause gosh, I've, I've played golf and it's ugly. Um, <laughs> but you can recognize that. I can recognize that. Well, you got to know your weaknesses, exactly. right? <laughs> uh, I'm not a runner because you see me. I'm a roller, not a runner. So when I retire, what am I going to do? I, I'm going to do volunteerism. I'm going to do something I enjoy. You know, we work in an Alzheimer home on Saturdays. I enjoy that. Reading to people, teaching people how to read, or reading to little kids, or doing something with the community is what I want to do when I retire. So it's about making the right choices. And if you have to go back to work, it's okay because of all the reasons that Carrie pointed out to us, maybe we want to delay Social Security. Maybe. Maybe we don't want to touch our 401k because in retirement, we talk all the time about needing three, four, five plus reliable, dependable, and sustainable avenues of income. So that social security is one of them. It might be a pension. If you're lucky enough to have a pension, that's another avenue. You need safety though. I think people, one of the, one of the things that everyone wants in life, whether they admit this or not, is they want to be safe. They want that warm blanket around their shoulder at nighttime, knowing that everything in the outside is okay, the bubble. So you need some safety. And that's what we do with when we work with fixed index annuities. But you also need growth, right? And the growth is you still need to get bigger and stronger as we get older. We don't want to be frail and worrisome. We want to have some muscles to us still, muscle tone. And having that managed money helps grow. And then we decide where we're going to pull that from. Now, if we want to go back and take an extra job or we have to go back and take a job, it helps take the pressure off the other avenues of income. But that's what's so important, Mark, about having that retirement plan planning for those things, looking at your expenses, the ones that are going to go away and the ones we're going to add in retirement because everyone thinks their expenses go down in retirement. Mm -hmm. And that's really not necessarily true because now you're going to see that you want to go travel. You want to go see your children who moved across the country. You want to start joining a golf club or whatever. You want to, you're going to spend some more money. We're going to go over taxes. We just said it. Uncle Sam is not our friend all the time. We want our money in our pocket to do with what we want to do. I don't care what the government wants to spend my money on. That's their problem. My problem is keeping my money in my pocket. Investment advisory services are offered only through properly registered representatives of Impact Partnership Wealth, LLC, which is not affiliated with Betrayal Wealth Group. Financial professionals are not licensed in all 50 states. To find out if George Politaris is licensed in your state, please contact his office. George A. Politaris is not affiliated with nor endorsed by the Social Security Administration or any other government agency and does not provide legal or tax advice. Please consult with your attorney, accountant, and or tax advisor for advice concerning your particular circumstances. Annuity guarantees rely on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing insurance company. Read your contract for restrictions, limitations, or penalties. By contacting us, you may be provided with information about insurance products, including annuities, offered through George A. Politaris. NPN number 1750473.